you see them teaching the same lies, man? Do you see the hatred on these brothers in these schools? Bring it out. That don't even, we got to we got to die. That don't even speak to nobody. You ain't under Jehovah. You're not under the truth. Nigga, pull a precept and prove it then to me, man. Bring it out. Say it like the Randy map, man. Go back to where we were, man. First Corinthians 1 and 9, 1 and 10. Somebody, he gonna tend, like I say, things are gonna get stronger and stronger. Right now, the truth just starting to really resonate. Because so many people have been doctrinated in what, what the Bible don't deal with. Sorcery, don't it? What does it don't deal with? Enchantment? Right. It don't deal with enchantment. These will do it. What about witchcraft? That's right. So you say Christ broke the commandments? To do these, why would Christ be doing tricks and they want to kill him? If I came to your mama house and put my hand on her on her chest, she was dead, she was woke. You telling everybody, man, he brought her back to life. You don't want to kill a man like this. Yeah. If you seen a man walking on water, would you be afraid of him? Bring it out. Think about it. Now some of you drinkers, you know, that wine thing is a good thing. Man. <laughs> man, we ain't gotta worry about nothing here, man. We <laughs> Hey, we need some more than wine back there, man. That's right. We're a little low. Hold on, where we at? How's he raising? Where he at? Is he here? Ain't he raising us up? Bring it down, boy. Study, rebuking, and study trying to get us in order. Study trying to get us to love each other. Read. It is written in the prophet. I, I never seen the prophets uh, uh, just cherry on some cherries. So, man, we, we got the ships that's going to be coming to get us out of here, man. Shalom, call light and love, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, call Kadash. All praises be to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, and pushing this gospel. Throughout the four corners of the earth, salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, and double honors and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson entitled, One Body Are Non-Believers. So when you try to teach the Bible without the Holy Spirit, without wisdom and discernment, you're not going to get it. So this truth is only given as a gift to the hopeful elect that have understanding of the scriptures. Let's go into it. <clears throat> Let's go from here. We're going to go to the book of John, chapter 9. Let's go to the top. Book of John, chapter 9, verse 1. Healing the man that was born blind. I don't think one body can read. Anyway, let's keep going. Book of John, chapter 9, verse 1. And as Yahawashai passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Yahawashah answered, Neither hath this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of the Most High should be made manifest in him. So these works you're going to see are signs, wonders. Miracles that's of the Most High Father through Yahawashai. Verse 4 I must work the works of Him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. So Yahweh Shai's mission was to heal the sick, give sight to the blind. That was done physically, <clears throat> excuse me, that was physically done 
And yes, there is a spiritual meaning as well to that. But we're going to show you that he also did physical miracles. The works of the, of the Father. Let's prove that. Let's go to John chapter 3, verse 1. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Yahweh by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from the Most High, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Let's go into that word miracles. I don't think one body read or look up words or study. Let's go into the word miracles. Miracles comes from the Greek. Strong's G, 4592, say Mayan. Say Mayan. Say Mayan. Miracles, signs. Wonders, tokens, a sign, mark, or token, miracles and wonders, by which the Most High authenticates the men sent by him, or by which men prove that the cause they are pleading is the Most High's. Just like in Exodus chapter 7, the Most High told Moses what? I have made thee a God in the sight of Pharaoh. So there are left-hand side miracles, witchcraft and sorcery, and there are right-hand side miracles. Why you think Moses laid down his staff after Pharaoh's magicians turned the staff into serpents Moses did it on the right-hand side. These men have no understanding whatsoever. That's why it's sacri sacrilegious to pick up this Bible without the Holy Spirit of understanding. Let's keep going. We're going to go from there. Let's go back to John 3. So Nicodemus recognizes him as the most uh, as the Messiah sent from the Most High. John three, verse two. The same came to Yahweh by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from the Most High, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Yahawashai answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So that let's go into that word see. So only the elect has spiritual eyes and understanding to be able to see this true gospel and receive it. So the kingdom of God is also this truth. It starts with the word of truth. Let's go into that word C. Strong's G 3708. Harao. Harao. To see with eyes to see with the mind, to perceive and know. See? So this word, you have to have a spiritual eye. Let's go to Matthew. Sixteen and thirteen. No, not there. Matthew 13 and 16. 
A book of Matthew, chapter 13. See? Verse 16. Let's go to verse 15. Well, we got to go up. A book of Matthew, chapter 13, verse 13. Therefore speak, therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. So this is a spiritual eye that the elect have. That's why the two-third Israelites and the one-third cannot mix together. Let's go back to that. Matthew 13 and 14. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand. And seeing ye shall see and not perceive. For this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes, and their what? And their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart and should be converted, and I should heal them. So they're being purposely blinded by the Most High. They lack faith. Let's go back to John 3. Those eyes is able to see clearly this doctrine, which leads to the kingdom of heaven. John 3 Verse 3, Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the Most High. So they're not being healed. Why? Because they're being spiritually blinded. So their lot is to fulfill Zechariah 13 and 8. What's that? And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. That's their lot. That's the Most High's will. Let's go to Isaiah 6. The book of, Oza, the book of Isaiah chapter 6. Verse 8, also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, when shall I sin and who will go for us? Then said I, here am I, send me. And he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. So this is a spiritual blindness that they have. That's why they can't grasp or receive that Yahweh did real miracles. They perceive not, so they can't get it. Verse 10, make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes and do what? And shut their eyes lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. So the Most High is doing this thing. No matter how many scriptures you read to one body under Satan, they're going to be confused. It's their lot to fulfill Bible prophecy. And you might think that that's cold and unfair, but it's not. They're going to come back through the one-third elect, the remnant, through sperm batter, through the rod of the men of the elect. Let's keep going. Let's go from there. 
to the book of Matthew chapter 27, verse 46. And about the ninth hour, Yahweh cried with a loud voice saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. That is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? So this is Yahweh Shai being crucified on the cross. Verse 47. Some of them that stood there when they heard that said, this man calleth Elias. And straightway one of them ran and took a sponge and filled it with vinegar and put it on a reed and gave him to drink. The rest said, let be, let us see whether Elias will come to save him. Same spirits that are back today. They lack faith. They gave up Yahweh to be crucified. Let's keep going. So they didn't understand the scriptures back then either. That a Messiah was to come and become a sacrifice for Israel. Verse 50. Yahweh when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. Watch this. And behold, the veil of the temple that was rent in twain from the top to the bottom and the earth did quake and the rocks rent. So is this just figurative? Make believe? These are based on eyewitness accounts. So if you were to do an investigation, these men wrote it down. They gave sworn statement, so to speak. One body is bugged out. So the earthquake was caused. Verse 52. And the graves were opened and many bodies of the saints which slept arose and came up out of the graves after his resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared unto many. So these are based on eyewitness accounts. The saints were resurrected or raised up out of the graves. Now this physically happened. Right now it's spiritually happening or transpiring. The elect are waking up to the truth out of the graves of ignorance, gross darkness. But these miracles physically occurred. We read that. <coughs> Matthew 27, verse 53 and came out of the graves after his resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared unto many. Now when the centurion and they that were with him watching Yahweh saw the earthquake and those things that were done, they feared greatly saying, truly this was the son of the most high. See, I witnessed Accounts documented by scribes. What Bible is one eye reading? Okay, that shows you that the Most High blinds certain people, and there's nothing any of us can do about it. It's their lot. Let's read it again. <clears throat> A book of Matthew, chapter 27, verse 54. Now, when the centurion and they that were with him watching Yahweh saw the earthquake and those things that were done, they feared greatly, saying, Truly, this was the Son of God. And many women were there beholding afar off, which followed Yahweh from Galilee, ministering unto him. So these are real miracles, one body. Bug out. Let's go to John chapter 4. Healing a nobleman's son. Say what? 
healing a nobleman's son. The book of John, chapter 6, verse 48. Let's go to verse 46. So Yahushai came again into Cana of Galilee, where he made a water wine. Let's read it again. John 4, verse 46. So Yahushai came again into Cana of Galilee, where he made the water wine. And there was a certain nobleman whose son was sick at Capernaum. When he heard that Yahushai was come out of Judea into Galilee, he went unto him and besought him that he would come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. Let's go into that word heal. The word heal comes from the Greek. Strong's G 2390. Yamai. Yamai. To heal, to make whole. Let's keep going. John 4, verse 48. Then said Yahawashai unto him, Except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. A nobleman said, Now wait a minute. These men have to see a sign and wonder and still don't believe. They're witnessing a sign with the Israelites waking up in mass number around the world. But their faith is short. They cannot grasp or obtain a full understanding of these scriptures. So they are very limited in their understanding. John 4 and 48. Then said Yahushai unto him, Except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. The nobleman saith unto him, Sir, come down, or my child die. Yahushai saith unto him, Go thy way, thy son liveth. And the man believed the word that Yahushai had spoken unto him, and he went his way. And as he was now going down, his servants met him and told him, saying, Thy son liveth. Then inquired he of them the hour when he began to amend. And they said unto him, Yesterday at the seventh hour, the fever left him. So this is a physical miracle, a real life miracle. The fever left him. That means the man was sick, but he was made whole. He was healed. Verse 53. So the father knew that it was at the same hour in which Yahushai saith unto him, Thy son liveth, and himself believe, and his whole house. This is again the second miracle that Yahushai did when he was come out of Judea into Galilee. Let's look up the word miracle. My goodness. I mean, this is, this is ridiculous. We still have unbelievers trying to pick up this Bible. Miracles. Comes from the Greek. Strong's G, 4592. Semayon. Semayon. Same Greek word. Miracles, signs, wonders, tokens. That by which a person or thing is distinguished from others and is known. See? So that's why many are going to believe when they see these miracles being done by the apostles, the prophets that are in these days, last days, teaching. See, 
Let's go to let's go to Psalms one ten, verse three. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power and the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning. Thou hast the dew of thy youth. So these devils are going to recognize and see who the Lord's elect men are. The tabernacle of David that are going to be endowed with similar spiritual abilities as Yahweh Shai had. Where is that at? Let's read it again. A book of Psalms, chapter 110, verse 3. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power and the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning. Thou hast the dew of thy youth. So, so the men of the tabernacle of David is going to be like gods. Let's go to Zechariah. Once I learn how to spell, we'll go to Zechariah chapter 12, somewhere around verse 8. See, verse, the book of Zechariah, chapter 12, verse 8. <laughs> In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David, and the house of David shall be as the Most High, as the angel of the Lord before them. See, so the men of the house of David elect are going to obtain supernatural abilities after being caught up into the chariots of the Lord. These chariots are going to land and take the kingdom, take the kingdom by force, as it is written in Daniel 7 and 18, Daniel 7 and and 27, Jeremiah 51, verse 19 through 21. So these men are non-believers. You're not going to have a non-believer caught up into the chariot of the Lord and be like, whoa, man, what the hell? What the hell is this? What's going on here? No. Oh, no, it doesn't work that way. <clears throat> it doesn't work that way. The two thirds are going to be burned here on the ground with the caveman and the other nations. So these heathens are going to be destroyed together, which starts with the house of Saul. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem or Kadash. Double honors and respect to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Much respect and honor to those that are doing the work in truth and sincerity and those following this truth and sincerity of the hopeful elect of the house of David. We got next, Lord Willem, Barak Atham, Kwam Yasharala, and Abad Babal. One body lacks faith and understanding. And they don't have spiritual eyes to see. Kwame Sharala and Abad Babal. Shalom.